Well, this weekend, Robert talked about real friendship. And real friendship, one of the thing, one of his points was that real friendship is action oriented. That in order to be a real friend, we have to do, we have to act. And uh, I want to share from you a verse from First John, and then I want to ask a couple questions. So here's the verse: First John three, eighteen. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth actions and in truth real friendship is action oriented so here's my first question what do you do when you don't know what to do when someone's going through something and it's clear they need a friend but you don't know what to do here's what you do you just show up you just show up it doesn't have to be more complicated than that you send a message you invite them to coffee to a meal but you show up and here's the other question. What do you say to someone when you don't know what to say? What do you say to someone when there is nothing to say? Except for maybe this is terrible. I'm so sorry. So here's what you do. You give hope. And hope has a name. And his name is Jesus. So, so this is what it might sound like. Um, hey, man, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. Um, about what you're going through, but I do know this. I do know this. I know God loves you, and I know he's got a plan for your life, and it's a plan for good, and that if it's not good, then God's not done. You see, one of the greatest gifts we can give people is the gift of hope. Here's another thing that often happens. You know, I'm a, I'm a pastor, so I have a little more frequent conversations with people that are, there's nothing to say. Their, their, their situation is very, very difficult and there's no solution to it in the current, in their current reality. There's nothing that they can do. And so here's what I often find myself doing, uh, saying and, and praying is that God would take the burden off of their shoulders and place it on his. And for a lot of people, they haven't thought about it that way. They've been holding on uh, to the pain, to the grief, to the anger, and they've been trying to fix it. They've been trying to fix their situation and they can't. And so there is just something freeing from saying, take God, take this. I can't hold it. It's, I cannot. God, you have to take it. Take it off of me and put it on you and, re and replace that with peace and comfort um, in your presence. And guys, that is that is one of the greatest things we can give somebody is, is just a little bit of hope in a world that definitely needs it. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, help us to be real friends who love and lead. Help us to be real friends who are who act and that provide hope. God, help us to find the words to the people in our lives that need a little hope. And if, if somebody is listening today and they need some hope, God, I, I just ask that you make it real clear who you are and how you feel about them. And that if there are things that are weighing them down, that they just feel your presence and they feel you lifting those burdens off of them and onto you. God, we love you. It's in your name we pray. Amen.